Hello guys, welcome back to All About SAP. In this video, we are going to see how to change user default settings. See, to go to the user settings, go to user profile system, user profile, and then user data. In there with different name, you can change the username here. Now I can say I can put my mobile number here and then maintain email address especially for mail triggering and all and then in defaults you can maintain start menu start menu is something which you see in when you logged in into system you can see See, initially this is the screen initially this is the screen I see if I want to change I want to see other screen this is one of the area menu VD WEDI which is for IDOC so I am maintaining this for uh, initial easy access screen then I can maintain default language EN and then you might have seen in different countries they have different uh, decimal notation I can maintain here in India you have this after decimal two decimal then comma I'm going with X and then date format DD MM YYY and then based on the client you can change date format here and also I can change time format here and every time See, I don't need to maintain output type every time when I when I'm trying to print output. So by default, I will maintain one output here. And then print now. So whenever I execute, system will take by default output device from here. And then time zone. So this is the Indian time zone, UTC plus five. Under. Okay. Then parameters. See parameters you will talk about how to see what is a parameter ID and what is the use of parameter ID. See uh, I, I may be creating a sale order for particular sales organization. Uh, let us take a thousand. So whenever I am executing transactions for I am I'm creating a transaction for thousand I don't need to enter every time. So if I maintain sales organization by default thousand here system will pick that thousand every time when I'm executing the transactions see uh, I want to know what is the transaction parameter ID for uh, sales organization see, click on click on this button and press F1 and then go to here technical information you can say here parameter ID VKO Select that VKO. Maintain VKO and I will maintain it as thousand. Similarly, I'm going to see what is the distribution channel parameter ID. VTW I'm going to maintain it as 10 similarly I'm going to see division it is SPA That also I maintain as zero zero. So I will save it now. See, I have maintained defaults WDI and then parameters thousand ten zero zero. Let us see how it works. See, now you can see I have 
just uh, came back to my initial screen you can see here idoc and edi basis this is the initial screen so whichever if i open again new screen every in the every session i can see the only wedi access area main only and other thing we have updated parameter id let us see how that works ea01 you can you can see here sales organization 1000 distribution channel 10 and then division 00 same thing for reports va05 you can see here in the reports also sales organization distribution channel and division so it takes from the parameter id sc03 yes, sorry sc3 transaction code for user default setting i'm going to change revert it back to normal and then parameters id uh, I, I will see for material management mm01 what parameters id i can set i'm i'm going to set it for industry key and then material type for industry key parameter id mtp and then i am saying any one 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 i will take it as parameter id one and similarly i am going to set it for material type MTI is parameter ID and then I'm going I'm taking material type FERT by default for default I'm going to check again in see in easy access yeah it came to normal menu I'm going to check in MM01 now as i can see here industry key uh, industry one and then material type if we are system picked it for param parameter id thank you don't forget to like subscribe and share stay tuned for more videos